She will legit kick your ass. Whoa! Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season five, episode three of The Expanse, and this episode is called Mother. <sighs> Which frankly fills me with dread because I was going back kind of through my TV history the other day and was thinking about season four, uh, episode 10 of Game of Thrones. I won't spoil anything that happens, but it, essentially it was aired on Father's Day and I think it was called The Children and everyone who knows what happened in that episode knows what happened in that episode. And I was thinking about Mother and I was thinking about all the mothers in this show. So Naomi and her quest to kind of get to Philip. We've got a Vassarala with Ashti, but also um, with her son, um, who's already gone. We've got, and we now know that her daughter, I believe, was heading back to Earth. And there's an asteroid heading there. Um, we've got Holden's mum and his other mums, who are still on Earth, on their um, farm, whatever it is, and they're in danger. And we've got um, Alex's wife, the mother of his son, um, in a sort of parallel, you know, in a, in a sort of questionable circumstances now on Mars, um, clearly impoverished and kind of trying to make it by as best she can. But on top of all of that, we've also got Mother Earth, which is about to sustain a very heavy blow so I'm I'm finding I'm I'm thinking to myself there's every potential for this episode uh to be fairly dramatic um given all of, all of those mothers. So that was that's my thinking kind of going into this episode. The title really kind of made me pause and give me the heebie-jeebies. Um but yeah, I do you know, I talked quite a lot at the end of the last video, so I'm not going to do a mega speech before this. I just wanted to to make that point. <sighs> But now, I'm as ready as I'm ever going to be for this episode of television. So let's just do it. Let's have at it. Oh, okay. Inner Luna. I can't track. Oh, I need to see it again. I can't, couldn't track where it was going. A belter, a Martian, and an earther walk into a bar. Bartender. He asks the belter what he wants. The belter says, I'll have a glass of your finest Martian whiskey. Drinking like my enemy lets me think like my enemy. Bartender asks the Martian what he wants. The Martian says, a glass of your finest earth or tequila. Drinking like my enemy also lets me think like my enemy. So the Martian drinks his earth or tequila. So Excuse now- me. sorry to interrupt. I'm Dr. Alloy. Please, have a seat. What's your poison, doc? Bourbon. <laughs> this discussion? does not leave this room. Sorry, wait, pause. Watch the bourbon in the glass. Did you see that detail? It's just like this. I just absolutely love the little attention to details in this show that, that you think how that probably cost quite a packet to, to do that little shot and most people probably won't even see it but it is there to be seen at some point i fucking love that play your colleagues here on luna were the first to spot the rogue asteroids the uns asami was investigating around venus yes that's correct they're onto it what do you make of these readings that's weird what all these rocks have Consistently higher return signatures on one side only. Could these rocks have been fragments of a single larger asteroid? Certainly could be. If this were the case, what do you estimate the size of the original asteroid was? Ballpark. Well, based on these readings, somewhere between 10 and 30 meters in diameter. If a rock that size hit Earth, how big of an impact would that create? The blast would be about one to four megatons, depending on the impact angle. How bad is that? That's a medium yield fusion warhead. Blast radius 13 kilometers. 13 kilometers. They've actually figured it out. I cannot believe it. 
Marco Inaris threw a stealth rock at us. And it broke up. We got lucky. You think it stopped at one? We need to retask the watchtowers. Are you out of your fucking mind, ma'am? <laughs> you need to make the case to the director of intelligence. Are they gonna stop it? He'll tell me I'm playing Chicken Little, and if the SG gets wind of it... I have burned all the bridges in front of me and behind me. And I don't give a fuck. We're right. And you know it. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's amazing, that sequence. You can actually see where all the ships and everything are. Do it and more ding. By the way, I love the Polyam Belter fam. That is awesome. No. <laughs> okay. That is more of Kamina Drummer than I ever expected to see in my life. Guns gone. Look like a lot of hull armor gone too. They stripped him. Wake everyone. Prepare for boarding. Where did his signal go? Also, what happens to a human body in space just left there? Because how does it decompose in space? Would you just be... Is, is he just floating around forever or are they going to come across his corpse in here because Inaris decided to drag him back in? You went out that fucking airlock. I speak for Fred Johnson and Tycho Station. You are free to go. It was not the wrong call, and even Ashford said it was not the wrong call. Oh, that got me right in the fucking crawl. Search a ship for backup data, course. Ashford will have those hidden somewhere. Why would Mark go in Adels? Waste a good salvage like this. Because he's a cunt. He left it as a message. Mm. Come after me, and you die. This was recorded on series a few days ago. That was that was Cortazar. Oh shit! <gasps> what the fuck? It is. That's Paolo Cortazar, the protogen scientist who worked on the proto molecule, right? Did you know about this? No. According to my sources, Cortazar was taken from a secure research facility and off of series by a Belter strike team. You gotta look at the people who took you. I felt like I shot off at least two people. I didn't trust her. You need to keep me in the loop. I almost died in that box. You need to wake the fuck up. You have got a serious problem on your hands. Someone is after the proto molecule. <laughs> that was the appropriate reaction to have to Monica. We've handled terrorists on Tycho before. This isn't a bunch of idiots bashing in doors. This is a well-organized attempt. I can see what the fuck it is. <laughs> I've been doing this shit a hell of a lot longer than you. <laughs> Go, Fred. First things first. Let's find the kidnappers. I know it's hard times around here. <laughs> Fuck it, you know about hard times. Uh, excuse me. Let me buy a boat around. <laughs> That all you think we were oh, gay? Fuck off. How about you buy Ness Unjade rounds? She will legit kick her ass. Whoa! <laughs> and they only I remember would never have gotten shit done like that. Probably because you were always around. <laughs> 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 
Couple seats just open up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you doing here? Oh, wow. Personal business. Oh, shit. If I wanted to put you in jail, you'd be there already. <laughs> I know Philip's here. I came to see him. What a fucking chance. You don't speak for him. He don't want to speak to you. He don't want you in his life. I believe that when he tells me to my face, you have to tell Philip I'm here and that I need to see him. I have the right. You have nothing. Back to your inners. Jesus. He deserves to make the choice. Silvatare may be an asshole. That doesn't mean he's an arms dealer. He's our guy. You of all people, Bobby. Accusing a fellow Martian of treason without any proof? So get something useful out of Babbage and we'll have proof. Jenna Babbage. I mean, Emily. <laughs> My, you look nice. Did you want to grab the window? Oh, sure. So, Illis, new yeah. to Terra. Yeah, if it wasn't for Miller, we'd all be dead on that rock. But lucky for everyone. Facts. We destroyed that last piece of protomala crap. So now all those machines on all those other planets, they're gonna remain inert. The most amazing thing about that story might just be your modesty. <laughs> Whoa! That's so cool. Finish, search top to bottom. No backup data core, no com buffer, no nothing. Oh, man. <laughs> 